Web design is a huge field with multiple areas of specialization and often the term is used to identify anything from creating the visual design of sites all the way through the development of sophisticated web applications. Because of this, it's really difficult to summarize which skill sets someone will need to master in order to become a web designer. Much of that is going to depend upon the area of web design that you want to focus on. However, there are some basic core skills that almost all web designers will need to learn. Regardless of which area of web design you specialize in, you'll need to have a working knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These languages form the core of almost all web content and should be considered as essential skills. Although there are a lot of web design tools that make the process of authoring content easier, none of them allow you to create professional websites without writing code, regardless of what their marketing teams tell you. And that's not likely to change in the near future either. So if you're serious about learning web design, you'll need to embrace the prospect of learning to code. Some people tend to have anxiety over learning to code, while others just naturally dive right into it. If you're one of the ones that are a little hesitant about it, let me reassure you that coding is not hard and picking up the basics is incredibly easy. To show you how easy, this first chapter is gonna be a quick introduction into those three languages. We're not gonna do any deep dives or focus too much on syntax. Rather, I want you to experience firsthand how simple most of the code that's required for websites really is. I found that once people get in, write a few lines of code and then see it work, all that anxiety tends to melt away. We'll start in our next movie by exploring the foundation of all web pages, HTML. I think it's important to set expectations at the outset here. This is not a hands-on course. Although we'll be doing some basic exercises over the next few movies, this course is more focused on the concepts and approaches of learning web design. At the end of the course, I'll provide links to courses that will allow you to practice the concepts that we'll cover here in an applied way.